Day marks the 10th anniversary of the arrest of BTK. Park City native Dennis Rader was taken into custody on February 25th, 2005. That arrest brought two men together. Charlie Otero and Steve Relford were children when BTK brutally murdered family members. And when they met 10 years ago, they instantly forged a friendship. Today they call themselves brothers, even though the last decade has brought them totally different lives. Sure is nice out here, man. It's like spring. Yeah. Like starting all over fresh, you know? Come on, little. It's an unusually warm winter day. Friends Charlie Otero and Steve Relford decide to go fishing. The calm waters of a local lake, quite a contrast to what these men were experiencing 10 years ago. Pretty soon the door opened and I was in. It was then they came face to face for the first time with the man who brutally murdered Charlie's mother, father, brother, and sister. First of all, Mr. Otero was strangled, or a bag put over his head and strangled. This nightmares entailed reliving the scene that I, that I found and uh, reliving the torture and the screams nightly. The man who strangled then five-year-old Steve's mother right before his eyes. Ran around where my mama was, tried to untie the rope around her neck. I couldn't. Ten years ago, amidst a whirlwind of media, these men relived their childhood nightmares come true. Sir, I have been advised it is your desire to enter a plea of guilty in this case. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Then BTK was finally locked up forever for good. Feels like yesterday, and at the same time, it feels like a million years ago. So much has happened in our lives since his capture, and uh, it's just really hard to, to put it into, into perspective. When Dennis Rader was arrested, Charlie had just been released from prison after serving time for domestic violence. Since then, his life has totally changed. Well, a lot of it I, I attribute to the fact that he um, got caught, that you know, Dennis Rader was caught. Charlie has had a full-time job for several years, currently as a service manager at a motorcycle dealer in El Dorado. He has a fiance and a home. Quite a contrast to his life before BTK was captured. You know, I was on the other side of the tracks, morally, ethically, physically, you name it. I was, I was not a member of society, but you know, now I am. It's something I'm, I haven't been able to do since my family was killed. I drink to escape. A lot of times it works, sometimes it don't. For Steve Relford, things haven't gone as well. He has been in and out of rehab and jail several times, and he has trouble keeping a job. He's tried several times to turn things around, but he says the pain is still great. You watched him kill your mother? Yeah. I watched him put that bag over her head and rope tied around her neck. That killed me. Currently, Steve shuttles between friends' homes. Have you been homeless at all any time these last 10 years? Oh, yeah. Where do you live when you're homeless? Under a bridge in a tent. I live in a tent on the river for a while. During those times, Charlie brings Steve blankets and food. Other times, they share more important things. We share feelings and, and we, we share an understanding about how each other feels because of this common, you know, devastation to our lives that went down. So, yeah, Steve understands me and I understand Steve like probably not too many other people do. Fresh starts. They're always good. You don't get that many in life. Now, Charlie has been trying to convince his friend Steve to get a fresh start for a while now. You see, Steve never got any counseling as a child after he saw his mother murdered. It's difficult finding the right combination of help now. So 10 years after Dennis Rader's arrest, two friends bonded by tragedy still struggle.